So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here today at Redeemer. I have to say my name. I'm Pastor Galuk Red. I currently serve as the pastor to the Sudanese people in southern Minnesota. I'm glad to be here with you today at Redeemer. So we have opening hymns. I think it's on the board, so we can go ahead and play that music. I have to sit that side. I have to sit on the side there, right? I have to sit on the side. Yeah. Oh. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our hell in the name of the Lord. If you, O Lord, keep record of sins, O Lord, who can stand? Since we are gathering to hear God's word, call upon him in prayer and press, and receive blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of this altar. Let us, press, let us first consider our wilderness and confess before God and one another that we have sins in thought, word, and in deed, 
and that we can free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together as his people, let us take refuge in the infant's mercy of God. Our Heavenly Father, seek his grace for the sake of Christ, and saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. As Almighty God in His mercy has given His Son to die for, for you and for seek forgiveness for you all, your sins as call and ordained servant of Christ, I therefore forgive. I therefore. I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Die no longer as demand over him. Hallelujah. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Shall we have our next? him knows. So let the Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, the giver of all things is good. By your holy inspirations, grant that we may think those things that are right and by your merciful guidance. Accomplish them through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, and now forever. Uh, we have our first reading from Acts. I don't know what's the reading.
The first reading for the sixth Sunday of Easter is from Acts chapter 17. While Paul was waiting for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him, as he saw that the city was full of idols. So he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and the devout persons, and in the marketplace every day with those who happened to be there. Some of the Epicureans and Stoic philosophers also conversed with him. And some said, what does this babbler wish to say? Others said, he seems to be a preacher of foreign divinities because he was preaching Jesus and the resurrection. And they took hold of him and brought him into the Areopagus saying, may we know what this new teaching is that you are presenting? For you bring some strange things to our ears. We wish to know, therefore, what these things mean. Now all the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there would spend their time in nothing except telling or hearing something new. So Paul, standing in the midst of the Areopagus, said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious. For as I pass along and observe the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of those dwelling places that they should seek God in the hope that they might feel their way towards him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, for we are indeed his offspring. Being then God's offspring, we ought not to think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of man. The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Chant to the gods. The epistle lesson is from 1 Peter chapter 3. Now who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? But even if you should suffer from righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. But in your hearts regard Christ the Lord as holy always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect, having a good conscience, so that when you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that should be God's will, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteousness for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds with this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for good conscience. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers, having been subjected to him. This is the word of the Lord. Yeah.
Our gospel readings, the gospel reading according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither see him nor know him. You know him, for he dwells with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while. The world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I leave, you also will believe. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them, it is who, who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. This is the gospel of the Lord. So as we can do our nice and creed, so we do it all. In I believe in one God, the heavens, invisible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the holy begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father, all worlds, one God, live life, very God of very God, begotten, not made being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made. For who led salvation, come down from the heavens, was encountered by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, was made man, crucified, first Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to scripture, and ascended to the head, and sit at the right hand of the Father, and will come again with the glory just living in this, whose kingdom will never have known. And I will in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and given of life, will proceed from the Father and from the Son. The Son. Who is ruled by the prophets, and I believe in one Christian church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come.
pray to the Lord, Christ risen. Risen indeed. Hallelujah. Good morning. Well, I want to say this before I go to our read before before message for my message. So you know, long ago I grew up in refugee camps before I came to the United States. So what I want to mention here today is when we come to the church, what do we want to meet? We want to meet God here. That's why you go to your bathroom and rush washing your face and come to the church. That you want to meet the Lord, not Pastor Reed or Pastor, Reed, Pastor Gribble. No. You're here to meet God. That's the purpose why we are here. Grace to you and peace from our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My message for today is come from our gospel readings, John chapter 14, verses 21, verses 15 to 21. As you follow in your reading down there, Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because you neither see him nor know him. You know him for dwelling with, with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world will not will see me no more, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has commands, keep whoever commands and keep them. He is who loved me, and who loved me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him, manifest myself to him. The Holy Spirit, who is he? There are three great scriptures that deal with the doctrine of the doctrine of Holy Spirit at last. The identity of the Spirit is deal with here in our text from John chapter 14. Jesus talked about the works of the Holy Spirit in John chapter 16, verse 7 to 15. And the power of the Holy Spirit is covered by the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 17. The two passages involved discussion by the Lord himself. He is the upper rooms spending the last hour he will ever have with his apostle while on earth. He is covering major subjects that they need to grasp before his death. He is rebelling to them and fulfill them with the glorious truth that will help them through the upcoming trial they, they are to face. The greatest else the believer are to receive is the very presence of God himself in the person of the Holy Spirit. It is this that Jesus now reveals. He reveals the Holy Spirit, his identity. Who is he? Where Jesus reveals the works of the Holy Spirit, where the power and the Holy Spirit rebels. He is the counselor, comforter, the other helpers. He is the spirit of truth. He is person preserved of Christ. He is a special manifestation of Christ was in the believer. He is abundance present of the Trinity. He is the Holy Spirit, the teacher. In Revelation chapter 7, the Holy Spirit tells people 
go to all nations. After this, I look, and therefore, me was great multitude that no one could come from every nation, twice language, peoples, and stand before the thrones in the front of the Lamb. Most churches are busy places, not only worship service and Bible classes on Sunday, but meeting going on all weeks, lady as a should. Youth groups, girl squad and boy squad, supporting groups, church council, quilting groups, binary committees, choirs, financial committees, and on and on. Jesus' final command to his disciple in the word of great commission in Matthew chapter 28 was go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the ever age of the to the very end of the age. We experience this in the holy baptism, and now we are to share the good news. That is the main test of the church. What are we, this present day disciples, doing about this command? Too many people, mission is synonymous, synonymous with money. And they are not buying that. To some people, mission means other people. People of different color, skins, different language, different custom. They are not buying that. To some people, mission means if I want to be a missionary, I have to leave home and family all the comfort of my life. The best thing I am content with. And they are not buying that. Each of us Christians, member of this church on earth, are missionary. No exception. The two go together. Your mission field may be your neighbors, an unchurched family, friend, business associate. Your mission may be share with your gifts from God those who do not know Him. Your mission may be fervent prayer. For those who have dedicated their lives to the fulfill of the great commissions, God grant that multitudes from all nations who will stand with us before the Lamb on the judgment day may grow and grow and grow. Because God is people, heal the command of 28. Thought, how you perform your mission responsibility. Are you praying regularly for the missionary and their family? Are you given generously to send your substitute? My recent trip to Africa on March 18 was to help fulfill my, my mission responsibility. The purpose of this trip to see how can be done to improve the agriculture system in the Gambela region of Western Ethiopia stabilization and erasing the crop growing capabilities in, the, in this area would go a long way toward helping the people. The person who, who accompanied me on this trip was Bob Summer, owner of Summer Farm of Fairballs. Mr. Bob want to test the soil in the region to see how it can be improved and determine what kind of the cob would be best suited to the soil. He also works to find a crop that maximizes crop con production. Mr. Summer returned from Africa in late March and I returned in the middle of April. I stay in Gambela a little bit longer to work with the many growing churches in the area, and Bob and I facilitate the purchase of over 100 chairs needed, needed chairs for the 
Lutheran Church in the town of Kwergangs Kwer and Malau in western Ethiopia. The first of their of the year was made possible through generosity donation from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Wutan. As always, Please continue to pray for the minister to the Sudanese people in southern Minnesota and East Africa. The greatest help believers are to receive is bear preserve of God himself in the law, in the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come to us through Jesus' word and sacrament. He is our comforter and teacher and help us fulfill our responsibility to the missionary for Christ. Whatever the Lord bless us, amen. And the peace of God which preserve all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ, amen. Of course. Yeah, Asher, can you come forward? Can you bring the offering forward, please? Let us pray for the church. Let us pray for the whole church, Christian church, at that our Lord grow would defend her against all the assaults and temptation of the adversary and keep professionally on the true foundation Jesus Christ Lord in your mercy let us pray for all the minister of the words all vocation in church and all the people of God Lord in your mercy let us pray for our catechism that our Lord God would open their hearts and the door of his mercy that having received the remission of all their sins by the washing of re regeneration, they may be mindful of their baptism even more. He found in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for all in authority that we may lead quiet and peaceful like in all goodness and honestly especially our president, both Joe Biden, and our governor, Waltz, and the United States, and our governor, Waltz, and all who makes administrator and judge our laws. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for our, let us pray for the family of Ron Schmidt, who passed away last week, Dear Jesus, the Lord of glories and Prince of life, to you fresh and sang now and forever that you have so gracious else and received this blessing person into your holy hands. On the last day, grossly unite his soul and body in the heavenly kingdoms. Comfort all who are destroyed with your sweet consolation and preserve all his family in your eternal grace, according to your infant goodness and mercy. Amen. And that, 
and that all who receive the word of your minister may hear according to your word. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, where am I now? So, huh. so, 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 let the Lord be with you. Live up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly God's rise and solitary, even more praising you and saying, Let us pray in the, in the prayer that is taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on us as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Then I first the place, right? Our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night. On the night he was tread, he was betrayed. He took a bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciple and said, Text and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this and remember me. In the same way, also, he took the cups. He took the cups and after supper and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and said drink it all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood we was, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this often as you drink it and remember of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You can have this. So, so I'm going to commune you, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is the body of the Lord. This is the letter of our Lord. That is here. Okay. So I'll be, I'll 
can't be this side, right? So we we'll start it here. So, do I need to stand or? Well, well, we're the organs. Okay, so. Welcome to the law table. Yeah. Take this and eat. This is the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Take this and eat. This is the word of our Lord. 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 to the Lord's table. This is the word of our Lord. 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 Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. Welcome to the Lord table. Stand up. This is the word of our Lord. This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. This is the word of our Lord.
This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. This is the word of our Lord. Take and eat. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this solidarity gifts, and we enforce you that of your mercy, you would strengthen us through the same in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, your sons, our Lord, will live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, and now forever. Amen. Wow. Let the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you, preserve you in, in the body and soul to be lasting. Depart in peace. So, yes. oh. Let bless the Lord. Lord bless you and keep you. And the Lord make his face shine on you and gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with fervor and give you peace. I don't have that. Oh, okay. 
so we're done, man. So we just, we just go out and put on, right? Yeah. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. I think that's what it comes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. 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 Thank you.